Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here again with Mobile Tech Services here in Mobile Tech Studio B with a very exciting announcement about Google Forms. Last week, Google announced over 50 new features to their Google G Suite for Education lineup. One of those announcements being a rebrand to Google Workspace for Education. But of those 50 announcements, my absolute favorite was a quick little blurb about Google Forms. This stemmed from a great deal of feedback from techie educators like us asking for Google Forms to save the user's progress while completing the form. Now, I don't know about you, but over the last 10 years of using Google Forms, I've probably had two dozen upset students, teachers, and even parents contact me stating that Google Forms lost the results, and uh, my only answer for them was, I'm sorry, you'll just have to do it again. The information is gone. The issue was a network error causing the Chromebook to disconnect from Wi-Fi or the Chromebook randomly shutting down. Definitely not due to a student not charging a Chromebook prior to class, but I digress. Google has once again saved the day listening to our suggestions and resolving this issue. According to Google Classroom product manager and former math teacher, Melanie Lazar, this feature will be rolling out in the next couple of months, which would be uh, March, April, May 2021. But you can get access to this feature right now by signing up for the beta uh, to, in order to test it. This link is uh, it's right here. It's g.co forward slash forms forward slash beta just uh, betas, plural, just complete the information in the form and pending they need more beta testers, Google will follow up with you. So let's look into the logistics of how this will most likely work based on Melanie's demo, uh, the link for that video in the description of this YouTube video. So the data from the form will be saved to the student's account and not stored locally. So my guess is that after each form question is completed or possibly a specific amount of time or progress, then the Google form will automatically save that progress. And because the data isn't tied to the student's device, that device, if it experiences an issue like uh, gets orange juice on it or loses battery life or stops communicating with the Internet, becomes sentient, tries to take over the world, you know, whatever, uh, that data, meaning the progress of the form thus far, will be saved to that student's account. And all the student has to do is log back in with that same account uh, on the same device or even a different one and then click on that link in order to take that form quiz again and all their data and progress should be there. So big thank you to the Google engineers working on Google Forms. Thank you to Melanie Lazar for taking the initiative to help promote this request. And as always, if this video helped you out, if you could give me a thumbs up and possibly a subscribe. And as always, I hope that you have a griftastic day. Thanks.